Hello everybody, welcome back to It's Current Year for another quick battle ladder replay on the Toothgrass Hill map today. Uh, I am up against Krablin who is playing the Norskins. I am playing the Warriors of Chaos. We'll whack it on pause and take a look at the forces. So for Krablin's on Krablin on this side of the uh, battlefield, we've got the Beasts of Tashnar and a couple of units of Marauder Horsemasters uh, and Mirrored on this side, or two units of Marauder Horse Horsemasters on this side as well, uh, on top of some of my own. Uh, he's gone for a pretty pr pretty bargain basement uh, front line, so just four regular Marauders, the Icehorn Marauders in the middle with their, uh, I believe they have perfect vigor um, and slightly better combat stats. He's got two units of Marauder Hunters with Javelins uh, backing them up. He has a Shaman Sorcerer of Metal who has taken uh, Plague of Rust and Funnel Transmutation. He has also taken the Wild Frostworm pick. That's pretty cool. Don't see them too often, but uh, a nice pick. And he's also taken uh, Wolfric the Wanderer with Hunter of Champions and the Sea Fang uh, ability. So for my own forces, I have taken also two units of Marauder Horsemen out the front, a unit of Chaos War, uh, Poison Warhounds, in the uh, vanguard for my own front line i've gone a bit of a, a bit of a mix i've gone some uh, chaos marauders myself as well as a couple of chaos warriors just wanted the extra melee defense and the extra armor figured i might go up against uh some some berserkers obviously berserkers are a great infantry unit for the uh for the norskins i also taken two forsakens my original plan was to either pick off uh some scraps that are on the flanks and then hopefully be able to work around into the back because i was anticipating there were some uh, marauder Marauder Hunters with Javelins, uh, yeah, they're pretty pretty decent ranged infantry tool. Um, I've also taken two units of Dragon Ogres, one of which is the Summoners of Rage, ROR, with their uh, with their Chain Lightning ability, and I have also taken Archeon, he has taken the Slayer of Kings and just the Burning Heads. He doesn't get a great deal of uh, Winds of Magic, so I have decided to just go pretty, pretty cheap with him. So the fighting gets underway pretty quickly here, obviously, with the uh, Marauder Horsemasters. Um, I try and sort of keep up with them because I notice that if I can maybe get the uh, hounds onto a couple of units here then I can slow them um, and then perhaps move around and try and get them but they do sort of get pulled back uh, both both forces here you see sort of are uh, sort of making a dash for the high ground um, and I've very deliberately sort of kept my forces in this straight line here so I can sort of uh, square up for a uh, burning head and I'm trying to sort of pivot around. I'm doing everything on the fly here, but there's a, a lot to micro. So there is a little bit of sloppiness on my behalf here. Um, I do sort of leave my Dragon Ogres out in front. So they will get charged, unfortunately, by some Marauders, but Marauders won't do a ton to them. Over on this side, we do have a, uh, a engagement with the Marauder Horsemasters here. I should have actually continued to uh, let those Forsaken charge in. They might have actually turned this. You see my Hounds and a unit of Marauder Horsemasters go down early. So not a great start for me. Um, I am now pulling out with my Dragon Ogres as well as Archeon because I want to go after. I want to use the, the mass and the anti-large of these guys uh, to pin in Wolfric and try and get them. And the battle lines are starting to sort of get a little bit... Uh, a little bit split here down the middle. Um, again, just a little bit lazy with these dragon ogres. I'm trying to get them across now. Nice breath weapon, a uh, breath attack going down, frost breath, uh, but also getting a good uh, burning head on my behalf. Although that does does look to uh, roast a fair few of my troops as well. But the ice horn marauders were nicely uh, picked off there. And as you see here, the forsaken chewing through these marauders. Um, and hopefully going to lap around the flank here to be able to shut down his own Mar uh, Marauder Hunters with Javelins. And you see a massive final transmutation going down here. Great cast by uh, by Krablin. Um, I am very sort of invested in trying to get this, um, get Wolfric down, but I'm not really uh, making the most of my sort of numerical advantage here. I should be pulling this one around the rear, trying to pin him in, getting more models attacking. Um, at the very least, you know, um, yeah, there's another anti-large here, but we see a couple of routes going down and it's starting to sort of turn back in uh, At this point I was but prior to that I thought I was going reasonably well. Wolfric's really damaged Archeon did get a Slayer of Kings off before there. Um, this side's gone well um, And I'm trying to lull just the uh, these Marauders into another burning head which will clip these units as well um, And you see these guys just sort of trying to rejoin the fight. There's some scraps over here, some Marauder Horsemasters on Marauder ho Horsemasters, but his are a little bit more healthy. Um, I do try and pop the uh, 
the chain lightning from the Summoners of Rage because they are very low and I want to get that used just in case they get routed off again. Um, but my Dragon Ogres unfortunately here are getting routed. I have a few routing infantry up here which I need to re-rally. But you look here, look how close... Well, he looks closer than he is, but a thousand HP left on the uh, on Wolfric over here. I'm desperately need to finish him off to get that balance of power shift in my favor. Um, but the Frostworm is proving a, a bit of a thorn in my side here. Bringing some um, bringing some Marauders over to screen against the Horse Masters. Um, I, I don't care if they use their ammunition there, obviously with the shield block chance. And I want to be able to free up uh, Archeon. To move around he does sort of uh, duke a uh, breath attack um, quite nicely there which is lucky for me um, and this shaman saucer here you know six six dragon ogres may have been able to be significant uh, but we'll never know they get chased off the summoners of rage probably likely going to do the same thing over here the uh, infantry you know chaos warriors and forsaken are going to do a number on marauders but i'm just trying to get whatever value i can out of my remaining uh, winds of magic i was hoping that would uh, clear off these horse masters um, and I'm just force passing, force passing after a hunt, uh, Wolfric, but a hundred of champions goes down and, uh, this was a mistake on my behalf and I, I need to, um, obviously highlight this because I had a pocket of infantry over here. I should have had Archeon in my, uh, I guess my eagerness to try and shut down Wolfric. I, uh, I, I, I tried to get Archeon. He had a hunter of champions, uh, not a hunter of champions, rather a uh, slayer of kings, not far off cooldown. Um, and I tried to go after him to try and get that um, shift in the balance of power in my favor. But obviously, with the health or reasonably healthy Frostworm, the mass of the um, horse masters just being able to pin him, pin him in, and a great use of hunter of champions there, uh, he got ganged up on and finished off. You see, just some scraps of um, Crablin's infantry chasing these guys off here. These uh, Marauder Horse Masters did indeed chase the Summoners of Rage off. Uh, so a pretty quick and uh, brutal game, um, a really close game, uh, but just a few wanted to, um, obviously wanted to post this because, uh, you know, as I always like uh, sort of going through my games against better players like Crablin and, uh, and sort of dissecting them. So a couple of uh, mistakes I made, obviously first and foremost, um, first and foremost, having my uh, Summoners of Rage and Dragon Ogres attacking the same target but not really ma maximizing the amount of models um, in in base contact. So obviously the Summoners of Rage had a few there but then the Dragon Ogres sort of got sort of played bumper cars and got stuck up behind him. I should have moved them around to the back and sometimes it's actually better to give a move order past a single entity and then lap around and get them in the flank provided they are obviously already engaged. Um, so you don't take unnecessary damage. So that was one mistake. And obviously at the end there, we saw Archeon. Um, it was probably my last chance to try and turn it back in my favor, but he got uh, ganged up on. Um, the other one was um, probably not keeping my infantry in a, in a tight line uh, to make use of burning heads. I got one or two down, but they weren't really that impactful because the fighting was spread up everywhere. Um, I very purposely had them in a very tight formation at the front there so that hopefully everything would engage front on. I mean, his infantry wasn't sort of, you know, the, you know, the punch of this list, but um, I could have, uh, you know, one good burning head could have really basically got all of this off. Um, you see, my, my Warriors of Chaos did pretty well. Um, they were resilient enough. The Forsaken did enough damage and got actually around into the into the hunters with uh with javelins as planned but uh probably yeah like i said a few mistakes here against uh, a really obviously a really good player um but nonetheless uh, a pretty pretty decent game and a pretty fun one to play so thank you very much for checking it out and we'll see you next time